My name is Mark Walton, um, I'm a contracts manager for Red 7 Marine and I'm in overall responsibility in charge of the works undertaken by Red 7 Marine on this contract. We're working with Orsted to install three artificial nesting structures off the coast of um, Sizewell and, and lowest oft in, in Suffolk. There's three nesting structures to install, two at lowest oft and at one off the coast of Minsmere. The purpose of the project is to um, create a new habitat for the kittiwake population of the coast of Suffolk that may be impacted by the Hornsey 3 wind farm development. Red Sea Marine have been involved in the project since the sort of latter stages of the detailed design. Um, in conjunction with Orsted, we've been looking at the buildability of the structures also working alongside our fabrication partners, Fortis Engineers, to um, fabricate and deliver and assemble the structures on the quayside in lowest oft. Beyond that, we're then looking to install them onto our Jack Up Barge Typhoon 3000 prior to installation offshore. So since the beginning of January, we've been starting to receive and assemble the uh, top side structures and foundations and other components that you can see behind me, which are just in the process of being loaded out onto the jack-up barge. Once everything's loaded on board, we'll be heading out to our first location at Minsmere, um, where we'll install the first structure within the next couple of weeks. The jack-up we're using for this project is the Typhoon 3000 behind me. It was selected for this particular project due to its size and scale and being able to be able to transport at least two complete structures out to the job site without having to return for resupply. It's the largest jack-up to come into Lowestoft in the last 10 years and we've had around about anything up to a thousand tonnes of equipment that will be loaded on, on deck at any time. The barge itself is operated by our own team. The engineers at Red 7 Marine have developed the sea fastening, the detailed site specific assessments and all the other engineering deliverables that we require to uh, get ourselves out onto location. We also have our in-house construction teams um, that will be responsible for uh, installing the foundations and uh, completing the installation of top sides offshore. Once complete, they'll be able to give access to ornithologists to, to monitor the kitty wake population over the coming years. Each structure will have approximately 500 nesting spaces that will help contribute to the conservation of the kitty wake colony off the coast of Suffolk. We would like to thank Orsted for the opportunity to work on this exciting project, which is the first of its kind.